Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness definitely makes good on the promises of an excessive title, alternate realities are in full effect, things get progressively more bonkers, and the latest adventure for Benedict Cumberbatch's Marvel Magic Man takes the search for one's self-conceit to. Director Sam Raimi, the man responsible for a couple of Spider-Man flicks as well as the iconic Evil Dead franchise, brings elements of each to the superhero sequel, out of four, rated PG-13, in theaters now. Madness won't give any young Avengers fans lasting nightmares, but the dark horror fantasy goes to some creepy places visually, with sinister delights sprinkled amid the more expected events of an overstuffed Marvel project. The new Doctor Strange grabs the multiversal baton from the excellent Spider-Man, No Way Home, though veers from its strongest storyline at times for callbacks and nods to the future. Summer Movie Preview, 10 Must See Films, From Top Gun, Maverick to Thor, Love and Thunder It's Rip Roaring Opening owes more to Star Wars or Raiders of the Lost Ark than any Marvel jam. A girl named America Chavez, Xochitl Gomez, who has the ability to travel through the many worlds of the multiverse, is running for her life from a dangerous creature in a cosmic setting, one star-shaped portal later, she winds up on the streets of New York racing another giant beastie. Stephen Strange, Cumberbatch, and his sorcerer pal Wong, Benedict Wong, enter the fray to save America from a gigantic B-movie monstrosity going to town like it's the 1950s again, and afterward, Strange finds out that a dark force is trying to kidnap America and take her powers. To help protect America, Strange reaches out to Wanda Maximoff, Elizabeth Olsen, the powerful Avengers witch who had Thanos shaking in his boots for a quick spell. But soon, the good doctor's formidable foe, it's best you don't know any more going in, attacks the sorcerer's magical fortress, and Strange and America escape by catapulting through a dizzying array of realities, including one where they're cartoons and another where they're, yes, made of paint. It's a way trippy start to the fussy sorcerer and teen girl going from reluctant pals to growing on each other, and Strange figures the best way to win is to find other versions of himself while dealing with friends, enemies and everybody in between. Elizabeth Olsen, Avengers star talks getting witchy again for Doctor Strange 2 unlike the recent Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings or Eternals, Multiverse of Madness isn't built for the casual Marvel moviegoer.